The possibility that there might be more than one dimension of time has occasionally been discussed in physics and philosophy. Physics Special relativity describes spacetime as a manifold whose metric tensor has a negative eigenvalue. This corresponds to the existence of a «time-like» direction. A metric with multiple negative eigenvalues would correspondingly imply several time-like directions, i.e. multiple time dimensions, but there is no consensus regarding the relationship of these extra «times» to time as conventionally understood. If the special theory of relativity can be generalized for the case of k-dimensional time t1, t2, tk and n-dimensional space xk plus 1, xk plus 2, xk plus n, then the k plus n dimensional interval, being invariant, is given by the expression dsk, n, 2 equals cdt1, 2 plus plus c d t k 2 minus d x k plus 1 2 minus minus d x k plus n 2 the metric signature will be plus plus k minus minus n display style under brace plus c d o t s plus underscore k under brace c d o t s underscore n time like sign convention or minus minus k plus plus n display style underbrace c d o t s underscore k underbrace plus c d o t s plus underscore n space like sign convention the transformations between the two inertial frames of reference k and k which are in a standard configuration i e Transformations without translations and or rotations of the space axis in the hyperplane of space and or rotations of the time axis in the hyperplane of time are given as follows T sigma equals theta equals 1 k delta sigma theta T theta plus C 2 v sigma v theta beta 2 zeta minus 1 t theta minus 1 v sigma beta 2 zeta x k plus 1 Display style t underscore sigma equals sum underscore theta equals one carrot k left delta underscore sigma theta t underscore theta plus frac c carrot two v underscore sigma v underscore theta beta carrot two zeta minus one t underscore theta right frac one v underscore sigma beta carrot two zeta x underscore k plus one x k plus one equals minus c 2 beta 2 zeta theta equals 1 k t theta v theta plus zeta x k plus 1 Display style x underscore k plus one equals c carrot two beta carrot two zeta sum underscore theta equals one carrot k frac t underscore theta v underscore theta plus zeta x underscore k plus one x lambda equals x lambda display style x underscore lambda equals x underscore lambda where v one equals v one zero zero n minus one display style math bf v underscore one equals v underscore one under brace zero c d o t s zero underscore n one v two 
equals v 2 0 0 n minus 1 Display style math BF V underscore two equals V underscore two under brace zero C D O T S zero underscore N one V K equals V K zero zero N minus one Display style math BF V underscore K equals V underscore K under brace zero C D O T S zero underscore N one. Air the vectors of the velocities of K against K, defined accordingly in relation to the time dimensions T one, T two, T K beta equals one mu equals one K C two V mu two display style beta equals frac one sqrt sum underscore mu equals one caret k frac c caret two V underscore mu caret two zeta equals one one minus beta two Display style zeta equals frac one sqrt one beta caret two sigma. Topic one two k lambda k plus two k plus three k plus n. Here d is the Kronecker delta. These transformations are generalization of the Lorentz boost in a fixed space direction x k plus 1 in the field of the multidimensional time and multidimensional space. Let us denote d x eta d t sigma equals v sigma eta Display style frac dx underscore eta dt underscore sigma equals v underscore sigma eta and d x eta d t sigma equals v sigma eta Display style frac dx underscore eta dt underscore sigma equals v underscore sigma eta, where sigma topic one two k eta k plus one k plus two k plus n. The velocity addition formula is then given by v sigma k plus 1 equals v sigma k plus 1 zeta 1 minus beta 2 beta equals 1 k c 2 v Theta V theta K plus one one plus V sigma K plus one V sigma beta two zeta minus one theta equals one K C two V theta V theta K plus one minus zeta 
display style v underscore sigma k plus one equals frac v underscore sigma k plus one zeta left one beta caret two sum underscore theta equals one caret k frac c caret two v underscore theta v underscore theta k plus one right one plus frac v underscore sigma k plus one v underscore sigma beta caret two left zeta minus one sum underscore theta equals one caret k frac c caret two v underscore theta v underscore theta k plus one zeta right v sigma lambda equals v sigma lambda one plus v sigma k plus one v sigma theta two zeta minus one theta equals one k c two v theta v theta k plus one minus zeta Display style v underscore sigma lambda equals frac v underscore sigma lambda one plus frac v underscore sigma k plus one v underscore sigma beta caret two left zeta minus one sum underscore theta equals one caret k frac c caret two v underscore theta v underscore theta k plus one zeta right where sigma Topic one two K lambda K plus two K plus three K plus N For simplicity, let us consider only one spatial dimension x three and the two time dimensions x one and x two, e g x one Topic Court one x two Court 2, x3. Equals x. Let us assume that in point O, having coordinates x1 equals 0, x2. Topic 0, x3. 0, there has been an event E. Let us further assume that a given interval of time delta t equals delta t. One two plus delta T two two zero Display style delta T equals SQRT delta T underscore one carrot two plus delta T underscore two carrot two GEQ zero has passed since the event E. The causal region connected to the event E includes the lateral surface of the right circular cone x1 2 plus x2 2 minus x3 2. Topic 0. The lateral surface of the right circular cylinder x1 2 plus x2 2 c 2 delta t 2 and the inner region bounded by these surfaces, i.e., the causal region includes all points x1, x2, x3, for which the conditions x1 2 plus x2 2 minus x3 2 equals 0 and x3 c delta t or x1 2 plus x2 2 equals c 2 delta t 2 and x3 c delta t or x1 2 plus plus x2 2 minus x3 2 greater than 0 and x1 2 plus x2 2 2 time physics, inspired by the SO 10, 2 symmetry of the extended supersymmetry structure of M-theory, is the most recent and systematic development of the concept see also F-theory. Walter Craig and Steven Weinstein proved the existence of a well-posed initial value problem for the ultrahyperbolic equation a wave equation in more than one time dimension. This showed that initial data on a mixed space-like and time-like hypersurface obeying a particular non-local constraint evolves deterministically in the remaining time dimension. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Connection to the Planck length and the speed of light. Let us regard the motion of a test particle with coordinate x mu equals c 
T R F gamma tau lambda x display style x caret mu equals begin p matrix court r c d o t f left frac gamma tau lambda right math b f x end p matrix which is the canonical one three space time vector c t x t display style court math b f x caret t with x element of r 3 display style x in math b r caret 3 extended by an additional time like coordinate r f gamma tau lambda display style r c d o t f gamma tau lambda tau display style tau is the second time parameter r element of r display style r in math b r describes the size of the second time dimension and gamma display style gamma is the characteristic velocity thus the equivalent of c display style c f display style f describes the shape of the second time dimension and lambda element of r display style lambda in math b r is a normalization parameter such that gamma tau lambda display style gamma tau lambda is dimensionless decomposing x mu equals x t mu plus x tau mu display style x caret mu equals x underscore t caret mu plus x underscore tau caret mu with x t mu equals c t 0 eta x x tau mu equals 0 r f gamma tau lambda 1 minus eta x eta element of 0 1 Display style x underscore t caret mu equals begin p matrix court zero eta math bf x end p matrix x underscore tau caret mu equals begin p matrix zero r c d o t f left frac gamma tau lambda right one eta math bf x end p matrix eta in zero one and using the metric plus plus minus 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 display style plus plus the lagrangian becomes l x x x t tau equals r lambda c 2 t 2 plus c 2 minus Eta two x two plus two c c t gamma two tau two plus gamma two plus two gamma gamma tau d f D Z Z equals Gamma Tau Lambda two minus one minus Ada two X two 
display style l x dot x x caret prime t tau equals frac r lambda sqrt dot c caret two t caret two plus c caret two eta caret two dot math bf x caret two plus two dot c court sqrt gamma caret prime two tau caret two plus gamma caret two plus two gamma gamma caret prime tau left left frac df dz right underscore z equals frac gamma tau lambda right caret two one eta caret two math bf x caret prime two applying the Euler Lagrange equations d d t l x i plus d d tau l x i minus l x i equals 0 display style frac d dt frac partial l partial dot x underscore i plus frac d d tau frac partial l partial x underscore i caret prime frac partial l partial x underscore i equals 0 the existence of the Planck length and the constancy of the speed of light can be derived. As a consequence of this model, it has been suggested that the speed of light may not have been constant in the early universe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy. Conceptual difficulties with multiple physical time dimensions have been raised in modern analytic philosophy. As a solution to the problem of the subjective passage of time, J. W. Dunn proposed an infinite hierarchy of time dimensions, inhabited by a similar hierarchy of levels of consciousness. Dunn suggested that, in the context of a block, spacetime is modeled by general relativity, a second dimension of time was needed in order to measure the speed of one's progress along one's own timeline. This in turn required a level of the conscious self existing at the second level of time. But the same arguments then applied to this new level, requiring a third level, and so on in an infinite regress. At the end of the regress was a superlative general observer who existed in eternity. He published his theory in relation to precognitive dreams in his 1927 book An Experiment with Time and went on to explore its relevance to contemporary physics in the serial universe 1934. His infinite regress was criticized as logically flawed and unnecessary, although writers such as J. B. Priestley acknowledge the possibility of his second time dimension. See also Privileged character of 3 plus 1 spacetime Imaginary time